you guys, Mimsy here. Do you have a small space that you need to create a, a door for and you're looking to maybe make your own barn door like this but you don't want to spend a bunch of money on the barn door kit? I'm going to show you how I made this barn door for six dollars. Um, I did have a few supplies but you can make this for sure for less than ten dollars. So let's get started. And this barn door kit is on my daughter's bed that I just finished uh, making. So if you're interested in seeing how I made this bed with drawers with two dressers that I had on hand. Check out the video here. So all the supplies that you need for this are available at Home Depot and I've seen a lot of people use those pulleys that are for laundry lines but you have to take those apart and if you just use these small patio door rollers they're all done for you. All you have to do is just put in the um, screws. So it's a lot easier, faster, and they're a little bit smaller. So if you're making a tiny barn door, they're not so huge. It's a much more um, to scale pulley. And it's so easy, you just put the screw in there and you're done, no taking apart. These metal rods, at some point we had a different door here. It was a, it was a wood door. It had a window just like this. The previous owner had put like a plexiglass over the window and then secured the plexiglass with these metal rods. So there was a metal rod all the way around and the back garage door was the same thing. So that's why I have so many of these metal rods. So now I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm just gonna cut this right in half. It is 23 and three quarters, so 24, so it's a little bit. So I'm gonna cut it 11 and 7 eighths. That's about half. Now I gotta find the right blade to cut this. Hmm. Seems like it's galvanized. All right, let's see what blade will cut this. So since I didn't have a clamp, I just screwed my metal rod to my uh, sawhorse so that I could saw it. And then I used a Dollar Tree hacksaw. That's all this is, is just a cheap Dollar Tree hacksaw. And it cut it in a minute and a half. So it feels like a long time, but it was really nothing at all. It took me a minute and a half to cut that with a Dollar Tree hacksaw. Now I'm just unscrewing it. Now paint. I'm using this black high heat because I have it left over. I love the matte, matte finish of the high heat paint. I think it looks great. So now I'm just assembling the pulley piece that holds the door in place with a nut and a bolt and you can tighten those down as tight as you want because the pulleys have a ball bearing in the center so they turn really freely and really nicely. And then I'll have to drill a hole here so I can have two holes for screws. All right, so I installed a two by three here because when I put this metal piece on, I don't want to have a hollow back there. So actually I probably should paint this, but I'm going to install this, then I'll take it back off and paint it because I want to see if this is going to work. Let's see. This should probably be a two-man job because I need a level. Okay, let's just do that. I'll do this one over here. Don't have a level, do I? going into that top piece. Okay, 
that's plenty strong. So let's see how the rest goes. So I painted this piece here. I still really should fill this with some wood filler here and here, but I'm in kind of a hurry right now. I need to just at least get something finished today. So I'm gonna hang this door now. So I've got these two pieces here that I put together and then this is the door. So I've got a picture frame here because I need to lift this up off the ground a bit in order to hang it. So I will set this on the picture frame. Let's see, yeah, that should do it. Okay, so, nope, that's too tall, rats. Hmm, All right, I need something smaller than that. Okie dokie. Let me see if the ruler is going to be enough. All right, so we'll go with that ruler. Paint stick would probably be better. Okay. Now, yep, yeah, let me get something that's going to hold this up higher. A magazine will do. Let me grab a magazine. Okay, so I'm going to use this composition book to hold this. I think this will be the right height. Will that work? Yep, that works. I'll just push down on it. Okay, now I need to decide where I want these on the board. And I can use my ruler. Mark this. I think I'll go in two inches. Okay, and I've got these tiny, tiny little screws. And I've painted the tops. So you could use any kind of door. You could use an existing cabinet door or a door off of an old piece of furniture that you have for this project. Obviously, I'm just using a piece of Luon or thin plywood for my door, which is fine. But you could use anything for this um, type of a project. Build your own door. Um, in any kind of door, it would work. But if you're going to use a thick door, you would need to uh, use thicker spacers, obviously. Now, let me take this out. Okay, so it's working. And I need to now fasten. This is a little bit unlevel, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten this side here and then I'll level this up. I'll put the second screw in. Okay, and now I'll take this one out and level that. So now I just need to touch up the paint and I should probably put some sort of a stop on each end so that these don't roll off of this. But really, I mean, if it rolls off here, it doesn't really matter. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to make um, lines across here so that it looks like shiplap to match that to give it a little bit more detail. But that's how, super easy, super easy. And it would probably be better if these two holes were spread out and there was a hole up here. I could go back and do that, put another screw there, but it's not necessary um, because this is so light and small. If it was bigger, a real door, then yes, you would definitely need a screw up here. But, for now that'll do pig okay so it's all finished i did use my sharpie marker to create the lines on the bed in order to look like the wall behind the bed the shiplap behind the bed i did the shiplap on the walls here and i'll link to that video in the uh end screen so you can take a look at the before and after of this bedroom so anyway um if you want to check out the before and after of this bedroom click that link now